In our channel, we have videos on math concepts, example problems, exercise problems, and important questions from old question papers and model papers. Subscribe to our channel now and share it with your friends. Thank you. Find the discriminant of 2x square minus 4x plus 3 equal to 0 and discuss the nature of its roots. Manak tilsu b square minus 4ac is called discriminant of quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 on a quadratic equation ki b square minus 4ac ane di discriminant. In the discriminant and tante based on its value, we can say what is the nature of roots of the given equation. Right? If b square minus 4ac is greater than 0, equation is going to have two distinct real numbers as roots. Please note this. If b square minus 4ac is greater than 0, equation is going to have two distinct real numbers as the roots. If b square minus 4ac is equal to 0, then you can say that equation has real roots, but they are equal. If b square minus 4ac is less than 0, then the given equation has no real roots. Discriminant and in the it is able to discriminate. It is able to tell you whether the roots are going to be real roots. If they are, then are they going to be distinct numbers or are they going to be same numbers? Rendo the asal real roots exist outaya leda given equation ki ane chipto na. Andugurinchi b square minus 4ac is called discriminant of quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. Right? Mandegrona equation anti 2x square minus 4x plus 3 equal to 0. Dini ki discriminant and to kan call ante b square minus 4ac value and tells call. Then based on that you discuss the nature of its roots. Let us compare the given equation with ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. Compare just a plus lay on the 2 on the b plus low minus 4 and c plus low plus 3. Right? Now let us substitute these into b square minus 4ac because we want to find the value of discriminant. Right? b square minus 4ac and t, minus 4 whole square minus 4 times 2 times 3, right? This is 16 minus 24. 16 minus 24 and t, minus 8. b square minus 4ac value and t, negative number minus 8 and t, it is less than 0. Less than 0 in a pudu, on me man japa chu, the given equation has no real roots and t, 2x square minus 4x plus 3 equal to 0 and a quadratic equation has no real roots. It means real numbers and a v e particular quadratic equation ki roots ka avu. Understood? Find the sum of first 10 terms of an arithmetic progression 3, 15, 27, 39 and so on. Manko ka arithmetic progression ichi aru. Tantla first 10 terms ki sum yantho kanko maatnaru. Right? We know that sum of first n terms of an arithmetic progression is defined as Sn equal to n into a plus a n divided by 2. Right? a n is the first term. a n is the nth term. Right? Now, manaki first 10 terms kanko manarante, the meaning nt n equal to 10 nani chestnut. Right? n value tells you a value that is the first term, right, a equal to 3, right, a value koda tells manaki, tilliyan dalla, 10th term, right, nth term of an arithmetic progression formula you say, see, manan 10th term value kanu koj, right, a n equal to a plus n minus 1 times d, and is the formula for nth term, 10th term came out in the a 10 equal to a plus 10 minus 1 times d, right? a value, man already tells you 3 any. Only tell you also d, right? 
So D is the common difference A2 minus A1 and Roscoe Chikada. So A2 is second term that is 15. Right? Now D value you can find, right? That is 15 minus 3 that is equal to 12. So what is the value of D? D equal to 12. So D equal to 12. E equation lo substitute chaste manaki a 10 value was right a 10 equal to 3 plus 10 minus 1 times 12 this is 9 times 12 right so 3 plus 9 times 12 in LRI 2 3 plus 108 that is equal to 111 so 10th term 80 111 now you substitute this 111 a equal to 3 and n equal to 10 in this equation, right? When you do that, S10, that is sum of first 10 terms of an arithmetic progression, equal to 10 into 3 plus 111 by 2. Then 114 and write, 10 plus 114 by 2, right? This can be written as 5 into 114, that is equal to 570. So to answer the question, Sum of first 10 terms of an arithmetic progression is 570. Understood? Write the formula for nth term of geometric progression and explain the terms in it. Nth term of geometric progression ki formula intente a n that is equal to a times r power n minus 1. Ikkada a ante first term of the geometric progression. Geometric progression and a1, a2, a3, a4, illa terms ras punta, right? The first term a1 is also denoted using letter a, right? R and a the R and a the common ratio of the given progression that is defined as a n divided by a n minus 1. So r equal to a2 divided by a1 that is equal to a3 divided by a2 that is equal to a4 divided by a3 and so on. Our common ratio is a n divided by a n minus 1. Find the coordinates of the point which divides the join of minus 1 comma 7 and 4 comma minus 3 in the ratio 2 is to 3. Ikada manaki 2 points on minus 1 comma 7 and 4 comma minus 3. These two points ni join this line. Then, the point divide chas. Okay? A ratio lo divide chas. 2 is to 3 ratio lo divide chas. We have to find the coordinates of that particular point. Let's say, man dekere ilant line ok tundi. Adi minus 1 comma 7 and 4 comma minus 3. And two points in connect chase. Ok line undi. Then we have a point on the adi 2 is to 3 ratio lo divide chasnant. For example, a point is 2 parts, idi 3 parts. It can be 3 parts. It can be 2 parts. That means 2 is to 3 ratio lo divide chasnant. We have to find this particular point coordinates. Understood? Ilanti chayalente mandegra una formula intente section formula. Our section point x comma y that is defined as m1 x2 plus m2 x1 divided by m1 plus m2 comma m1 y2 plus m2 y1 divided by m1 plus m2. E formula good pet kondi. This is going to give you x coordinate and y coordinate is given by this. Right? Now, this e formula lo man covers ni x1, x2, enti, y1, y2, enti, m1 and m2, enti, right? So, let's look at this. Mandigra minus 1, comma 7 and it is done, x1, comma y1 and kondi. 4 and minus 3 and it is done, then x2, comma y2 and kondi. This is second point, right? The ratio is 2 by 3 or 2 is to 3 and it is done, m1 is to m2 equal to 2 is to 3. Then m1 by m2 equal to 2 by 3 and koda raya Understood? 
Now let us substitute these values into this formula. So x comma y equal to m1 that is 2, 2 times x2 that is 4, 2 times 4 plus m2 that is 3 times x1 that is minus 1 divided by m1 plus m2 until 2 plus 3. Right. Similarly, you substitute what is the y2 value, what is the y1 value and what is the m1 and m2 values. If you substitute, you have now x comma y as this. Simplify this. This is 8, this is minus 3 and this is 5, this is minus 6 plus this is 21 divided by 5. Let's write that. 8 minus 3 divided by 5 minus 6 plus 21 divided by 5. This is 5 by 5 and this is 15 by 5, right? So 5 by 5 is 1 and 15 by 5 is 3. So this is the coordinate of the point which is dividing the given line segment into two parts with the ratio 2 is to 3. So the coordinates of the given point are 1 comma 3. That is what we are asked to find. Find the coordinates of the point, right? So this is the answer. Understood? Find the centroid of triangle whose vertices are minus 4 comma 4, minus 2 comma 2 and 6 comma minus 6. Manu first of all, centroid of the triangle and tend to show them. Manu dekiru ok triangle undi, it has got 3 vertices, right? And 3 sides. Now I will draw a line connecting one vertex with the center of the side opposite to it. Like that, let me draw second line and third line. We chose the three lines to this particular point they intersect out together. That is centroid of the triangle. If I say that coordinates of the vertices are given as x1, comma y1, x2, comma y2, and x3, comma y3. And the centroid is the x1 plus x2 plus x3 divided by 3 comma y1 plus y2 plus y3 divided by 3 out. Now let me say that this is x1 comma y1 and minus 2 comma 2 and the x2 comma y2. Then x3 comma y3 out 6 comma minus 6 out. Right? Now let's substitute these values into this formula. When you do that, your centroid is going to be x1 plus x2 plus x3 divided by 3 comma y1 plus y2 plus y3 divided by 3. This can be written as 6 minus 6 by 3 and this can also be written as 6 minus 6 by 3, right? And 0 by 3 comma 0 by 3, that's why I can write it as 0 comma 0. So, centroid of this particular triangle is 0 comma 0, right?